Hi guys, Take Big Care here. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing wonderful today. I wanted to come on here really quickly and show you guys a couple of bags, um, particularly the slate, large slate Dunian board satchel. I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, this one was on the outlet a couple of weeks ago and I posted it on my Facebook page. It was at an incredible markdown um, and I posted it on my Facebook page. So for those of you who are following me, you have seen this bag and hopefully if you have been looking for this one, you were able to snag it up when it was marked down really, really well. Um, I do believe this is still on the website. If it is, as you know, I will link it in the description box below for you to go and snag it. Um, I think Dooney and Bork is still having their, uh, 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 I think they're currently having a sale where bags are marked down 30%. Um, so definitely if you're interested in this one and I see it on the website, I would definitely link it below. Again, this is the large Dooney and Bork satchel in the color slate. And this is all Florentine leather and um, it does have uh, gold hardware, which I absolutely love. Um, it does have the green tassels. Um, it has a beautiful red zipper here and the green suede lining with the red inside. Huge opening. It comes with a strap and yeah, this is the inside. It has a zipper and oh, I think what is that? One large pocket on one wall and then on the opposite wall or known as the front wall, it has the two um pockets here uh on the front wall huge huge opening on it really nice size bag i will link the size of it in the description box below and this bag is in the color slate it also comes with a key keeper as well now um whenever i do a statue video because it's like a hundred million on youtube um i always like to do a color comparison because for me personally Whenever I am looking at a satchel um, on Dooney and Bork that's in like um, the same color family as another bag that I have, I always wonder how closely the color is going to match to the other bag that I have within the same color family. Um, so I always like to do videos on that in case you are wondering. Um, let me just take this off as well. Yeah, so she does have the brown tomorrow whip stitch. Uh, detailing on the handle here you can wear her a couple of different ways you can wear her like this uh, as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag um, and yeah I love her she's such a great bag I think that I'm going to be wearing her a lot for the fall um, because she's such a nice size bag I can, you can fit a lot in here she does have feet and she has a square bottom which I believe there goes the back of her which uh, I believe the square bottoms exemplify um, the newer, oh, there we go, the newer coach, ver uh, the newer uh, Dooney and Bork bags, because I believe the old ones have the rounded bottoms, but this one has the square bottoms, but all of them have feet. So whether it's a square bottom or a round bottom, I don't care as long as it's the satchel. Um, and I love Florentine, as you guys know, and this one is super pebbled free. It is smooth, 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 smooth. And y'all know that's important to me. Um, yeah, so this one is beautiful. I got this one off of the I Love Dooney website quite a while ago. And again, it was marked down. I don't know, probably like 60, 65% off. It was marked down a good amount. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I know I paid a fraction of the cost currently. Um, and again, it's, it's marked down again now. So if... Um, they have it. I would definitely highly recommend that you grab it up. Um, now, one thing I wanted to show you guys um, pertaining to this satchel are the color difference. Now, this is the color slate, and on camera, it's showing pretty true to color. It it does it is it's like a like a dark gray. Um, I don't know why they don't just call it dark gray, um, but it is a dark gray. Color. And so I wanted to kind of show you the color variations between the slate and then the elephant which is also another gray color in the gray family on the Dooney and Bork website. One thing I'm noticing from Dooney and Bork they have a lot of different colors um but I wonder often sometimes how how close in the same color family those colors are. So for example if they sell an elephant 
satchel, am I going to get that satchel or is it too close to the sleeve? Well, this is what I want to talk about in this video a little bit. This is um, the small Brenna, also from Dooney and Bork. Love this bag. Super cute. I do a little review on this one. I will link it in the description box below. But this one is in the color Elephant. And as you can see, it is a different color um, than the slate. The slate is a lot darker, a lot more stark, whereas the Elephant is lighter. It's like a, on a lighter shade of, of gray. Um, both of them are beautiful colors. They are both in the gray color family, but clearly one is more of a darker gray and one is more of a lighter gray. Um, and I just think that that's important to know, especially when you are a collector of bags. I know for me personally, I love Dooney and Burke's uh, Florentine satchels. So I want to make sure that um, I'm not doubling up on the color or getting a bag that's like the same color or too similar so yeah that is the difference between the uh elephant and the slate um color another color that is very similar but very different in Dooney and Bork satchels is the color taupe right so this is the taupe satchel from Dooney and Bork and as you can see it's showing up pretty true to color here but as you can see it kind of has like a like a beige it's kind of like bait has like it's like gray and beige it has a gray with a beige undertone color and i was wondering how close in color the taupe was to the uh florentine satchel and ecru and i do have a bag an ecru it's not a satchel I have this bag that's an ecru and there goes the color difference the taupe is a lot darker and the ecru is a lot lighter um so i have been wondering if i should get a satchel and ecru um or if the taupe would suffice and be a good color you know that and i don't have to get the ecru one um well the ecru is it's it's quite different it's a lot lighter it's a beautiful beautiful color by the way, this bag by Dooney and Bork, I will link the name of it below. Um, they also have this one on the outlet as well. It's just a really cute, um, like a small flip bag. You can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder and it's really cute. It has the flip here and it has a pocket that has a couple of card slots. Then it has a top here and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And then it has another little pocket on the back where you can put your phone. This is a really cute bag for like when you're just running, something really quick, um, grab and go, and you don't need to carry a lot. But I pulled this out mainly to show you the uh, the color comparison between the Taupe and the Ecru. So if you were wondering if there is a big difference in color, there you have it. It is a slight difference in color. This one is way lighter than the Taupe. The bag of the day for me is my Dooney and Bork Dottie. Um, I do a review on this one that I will link in the, the description box below. Um, this bag is super cute. I love wearing it. I did post a couple of pictures of it on my Facebook page um, and how I styled it, styled it for today. Super nice bag. Fits all of everything that I need plus some in here and yeah so it is quite rainy this weekend um and i was planning on going out today but um i hear that these bags are not good in the rain <laughs> just an fyi in case you have one and um you don't know that i hear that these bags stain in the rain if you have any experience on these bags um standing in the rain or the rain kind of messing up the bag please put a comment down below i would love to hear um, your comments on that. I keep hearing that they do, but I would love to hear other people's uh, comments or experience on their Florentine leather in the rain. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to switch out of this one for today because it is raining. Um, but this is the bag that I've been wearing for the week. really love the Dooney and Burt Dotty. They have it in many different colors. Um, and it's just such a great substantial bag. Again, I do a re review on this one and I will link it in the description box below. And if you're interested in this bag, I also believe it is on sale. So I will link the, to the bag below as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this short video where I am revealing my beautiful slate Dooney and Burke satchel and where I'm revealing the other gray colors on the Dooney and Burke color scale. Um, 
If you did like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, remember to go ahead and follow my Facebook channel where I periodically post pictures of how I style my bags. And I always keep you guys up to date on the latest deals, the great, the latest and greatest deals that I come across. I keep you guys updated on those deals on my Facebook page. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.